Well, as a blind spot winds down its fifth and final season, the excitement is heating up, as, up especially for the fan favorite dot com played by Ennis Esmer. Take a look. Also, I was able to hack the security camera at the building next to yours, and I'm sending you a photo right now. It's a little grainy, so I can't make out an ID, but three men just entered the building 10 minutes before you. Three of them, three of us. At least three of them. There could be more inside already. We can't bet too long. We're just getting exposed. OK, let's move in, see what we find. Weller, take lead. Ah, I got a bad feeling about this. And Ennis is here with us now. Ennis, there's a lot of noise going on where you are. What is that? Um. I, I apparently there's some housework going on. So let's say you know what I'd like to say. I'd like to say it's like a, a a dentist doing, a dentist doing like outdoor drilling, but on elephants and other giant <laughs> giant animals. Well, let's talk about the show and let's talk about yes. your who did not start out as a serious regular. I love this, but has grown to become like this fan favorite. How much does it mean to you that fans love you so much, considering? You know, you were just kind of popping up here and there, and you were not even a series regular. Listen, anytime you can get validated by a bunch of strange, that's why I got into this business was so that a, a lot of people I don't know would think I was good at something. So this is working out very well that it's uh, it's grown. Sure, it's uh, you know, it's what you want. Who would who would want a job to go in the opposite direction? You know what I mean? Who wants like a huge opportunity and then slowly they start taking parts of the job away from you? you know what I mean? <laughs> this I feel like in any job you'd want a little. People hate. Little, you. Right. This is also the great thing about Zoom is we're just, huh, are you having fun interrupting everybody and back and forth? Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I sum up every single like live show right now? Ready? Just start saying something. We'll go for yeah, it. Okay, so that's... that's no, <laughs> yes. No, go ahead. What? No, you go. No, it, you go. It's like being on FaceTime with your parents all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's a real nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that is the truth. That used yeah. to be the truth. Yeah. Funny. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Right? I needed this laugh. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm helping. Good. Let's talk a little bit more about blind spots so everybody will be happy. Um, yeah. You know, we started off this season where your character was being tortured and held against his will. You know, but of course, soon we'll see. You know, he, he gets out of that situation. But I know you can't give everything away. But are you happy? with how things wind up for your character at the end of this season. This well, I'll tell you something. It might be cathartic because this week we have a lot of yelling. We all get on each other's nerves and scream at each other because we're stuck in an area together and we can't get out. So, I mean, it's a quarantine special as far as I'm concerned. That's really <laughs> it's like what everybody is doing right now, maybe. So what was it like getting, you know, shooting those final episodes? I mean, you have I've wrapped up the, the season a while ago as far as production. What was it like, those uh, episodes? Uh, good. It was, it's always fun, and it was great to be a part of this team. And uh, um, it, it, the show has a very different vibe this year because of the sort of contained location and everything. So Yeah. Um, yeah. What will you miss most about this character? Yeah. Uh, just getting to say whatever I want all the time. That was fun. The character's kind of written like that. And it was a thrill to work with, uh, you know, one of my one of my dear friends created the show. So I was able to get in a situation where, you know, um, I, it's good when you have people vouching for you. You know what I mean? In this, in this business, it's definitely, it's definitely better when someone can go, oh, no, this person's actually good. You should uh, let them in. So that's nice that that, that happened. But, uh, and, and of course, this. I'm going to miss this. <laughs> right. Yeah. Are you doing all of your interviews from your from your from your home there? Yes, yes, yeah. all of them. So I judged. This is all me. Just stuff around the house that I moved around. So I think it's but you judged the heck out of it. It looks terrific. I, I'm drinking a, a, a joke mug. I'm not even a dad, but I like. I do like this mug. I gotta ask you about your dad. What? I love his reviewing of the shows. Yeah. I yeah. Think yeah. You need to be on IG Live, man. You need to become a son manager. You know, we've got momagers. You need to be. Yeah, you need kidager, kidager. Kidinger, yes. Yeah, he's he's so sweet, and uh, we actually did one IG live. I did the, something called the My Dad Talk Show, and we got him, and it was just basically him and I talking for half an hour. But then for some reason, my friend Richard Kind agreed to do, a, so he was the second guest, and we just talked for twenty minutes. I mean, there's enough IG live shows, you know what I mean? Like, let's, so I love this. I love that he's doing this. I gotta I gotta talk to my mom. She's just yeah. just sitting around, you know. With this whole pandemic, I need her to be, you know, becoming a person. <laughs> she's, not, she's not putting in enough effort these days. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Let's do it. 
it would be entertaining. And it's, this has been such a pleasure talking to you. I've enjoyed, you oh. made me laugh. I did not think that was possible today. Well, you can catch Blind Spot Thursdays at 9 p.m. on NBC. And it's thank you. Thank you very much. Please uh, uh, take care of yourself and uh, stay safe and so forth. And it was a pleasure.